Lord Nuffield laid the foundation of the British motor trade as it By is today. By nature, they are curious and were very interested in the cars which keep appearing in these pictures. These, by the way, are Morris Minor. This is another remarkable achievement, but we did what we set out to do, to prove that the design of the Morris Minor 100-pound car is, like other Morris models, right both as regards engine and chassis. Here you see the wings being placed on a travelling belt, and here again, luggage grids, etc., being placed on the conveyor. And there they stand, spick and span, all ready to be taken away to their purchases. You can't go wrong buying a Morris. Morris cars, industrial and marine units, are reliably doing their part in maintaining the prestige and efficiency that has made Britain and British engineering the envy of the world. Oh, hi. Our miner takes all the family and our luggage in comfort. It's very economical, too. But, you see, it's a modest. And that means it's quality first to last. People tend to forget just how revolutionary was Alec Isiganis' original design. And here's your car ready for the road. Only days after the merger was announced, Lord Stokes called the first meeting to consider a new car to compete directly with Ford's Cortina and Escort, Vauxhall's Beaver, and the proposed Avenger from Chrysler. Which is the company with a worldwide reputation for creating extremely space-efficient family vehicles? Austin Rover, a dynamic force in Europe. 